Shui Yi is the newest 4 star character to be added in Honkai Star Rail, and ever since she was announced, I was looking forward to her. She's an interesting quantum destruction unit that scales very well off of break effect. It really seems like version 1.6 put a focus on this particular playstyle, and I for one am enjoying it. Seeing as she is a 4 star character however, she will need some extra investment to get her going, but I think I've put together a pretty decent build on her. Time has come to finally test out the newest 4 star character Shui Yi, I'm hoping that she's going to live up to my expectations just a little bit as i've said she does scale very well off of break effect she does have quite a bit of traces that give you break effect and although i don't have the last one i will be able to get that soon enough and the build i'm going to be using on her is four piece genius of brilliant stars which is her best in slot of course because she is a quantum damage character but i am using a rather unorthodox slant ornament set on her because you really don't want to be using rudolin arena on her to be honest but if you know me by now i do get shafted on substats and the talia set ended up not being great at all so that's why i went this route just to be able to have some higher crew rate and crit damage but i'll make up for that lost break effect from the planet ornament set here are the pieces that i'm using on her the head piece is actually pretty decent because it does have nine crit rate on it the hands do have five percent break effect with a decent amount of crit rate crit damage 14 percent is really good and then i'm using a crit damage body with 11 percent break effect and five percent crit rate then i do have her with speed boots this is probably the worst piece as always i feel like it's it's usually the boots nowadays you want her to be fast it does have 18 percent break effect but no crit on there does kind of suck and then for the planner ornaments as i said the reason i'm running rudolin arena is because these subsets are a lot better than the italian ones that i have this one has crit damage and it is weird using an attack percent main stat sphere but i do know that that's better on her than a quantum damage one the rope however did not let me down it has break effect as the main stat but it has two speed eight percent crit rate and 18 percent crit damage pretty good it's actually a really Really good rope and because it's a break effect one this is honestly why i chose rudal and arena and for light cones i'm going to be using a viber de lunes because that 18 percent crit rate is definitely going to come in handy especially if i am using rudal and arena and although this light cone can fall off compared to on the fall of an eon because i'm going to be running her with bronya i'll be able to use the basic attack with shui then use bronya to come back with shui and i'll already have the stack of dragon's call so that does circumnavigate the fact that she's not usually getting the buff from that but because I'm running Bronya, it'll help a lot. And let's look at my Shui stats. So, as you can see, her attack is not exactly where I want it to be, but I will be getting that stack that I just mentioned, so that will help a little bit. 133 speed, and the crit ratio is actually really good. Now, with Rudal and Arena, you want to be at 70%, and I'm just 0.5% short. But I am going to be running her with Fu Xuan, so that will make up more than enough for the crit rate that I'm going to be needing. Last, but certainly not least, is Break Effect. It's not going to be as high as I would want it to be, but 127% is still quite good. And I'm going to be running her with Ron Mei, so that is definitely going to make up for that, since Ron May does offer break effect immensely to other characters so that will definitely help here and all in all i think i have a pretty balanced amount of stats and i think that she'll be doing pretty well now you may have noticed that i actually don't have her last bonus ability so we're going to fix that real quick But at least now Shui Yi will finally have her last trace ability, which is pretty good. I would like to get these in the future, but for right now, I think she's all right. I've actually yet to use her yet because I wanted to do that for the video, but I think she's going to be working out pretty well because the AoE quantum is something that I'm not used to. I don't use Xing Che that much. Now, what makes Shui Yi significant is that she's able to ignore enemy's toughness. So not only is she going to be doing a lot with the break effect itself, but she can pretty much break any weakness there is she doesn't have to have quantum so you don't even need to bring someone like silver wolf necessarily with her which is actually really cool that a four star character is capable of doing this like i'm actually really happy with the fact that she's able to just break random toughness the damage isn't as high as i was hoping it would be honestly but i know that once i get the buffs going it'll be a little bit higher let's see how she does against the first boss enemy though because this one doesn't have a quantum damage one yeah but we can break the toughness right away here which is really good so I'm going to go ahead and apply all of these. Bronya will definitely be helping out with that crit damage that I'm using too. And so then I'll go ahead and break the toughness here. How much break effect is it going to do, honestly, though? 60,000? Eh, that's not that great if I'm being realistic. I mean, with the buffs that I'm getting, though, my break effect is at 197. So it's close to 200. I mean, like, these are pretty good stats. But I don't know. Maybe the attack being a little lower. But since I'm using Don Hong and Biber de Lunes, I'm going to use my basic attack here to get that stack. And she's 
extremely fast. And then I can go ahead and switch on over with Bronya and then take advantage of the attack that I'm getting. Honestly, though, even with all the buffs, her damage is really low right now. Like, I don't even think this is gonna kill. <laughs> it's so Why is her damage so low? All right, here's our next boss. And I think I am actually pretty good when it comes to skill points, though, for sure. Oh my gosh, 340,000. <laughs> Bro, Ruan May just makes this so easy. We go ahead and pop Ron May's ult as well. I think that her and Shuei do have good synergy, though, not only because of the break effect, but the fact that I'm able to prolong this and pretty much be able to break any enemy's toughness with Shuei's ult is pretty good. Exchange for a three-star blessing, I don't need that. I really don't need to do that. Since I already have Fortune's glue anyways, I guess I will go with this one to be honest i'm guessing that ron may's break effect buff though doesn't affect the old that you're using the shui because it's kind of it seems like it's a set amount but these small enemies just get their toughness broke like immediately okay the follow-up attack though that's what's really good like i think that honestly adds to the damage a lot there we go that's pretty nice and the follow-up so that was over a hundred thousand right there with the follow-up she does do a lot more and we got the last three star hunt blessing let's go oh yes and i got this one this one is almost as important as the three star ones i feel like because it goes hand in hand with them on this simulated universe world and here we are at the boss fight let's see how i did on blessing as always i focused heavily on the hunt path blessings and they treated me kind today i got the critical boost one the ones for defeating an enemy and having your advance forward and like i said the one where when you defeat an enemy it regenerates energy now i wish i would have been able to enhance this one i really should have because 100 percent is so much better than 60 all right let's jump into it i'm not gonna lie i'm a little nervous because i feel like she's not going to be able to keep up like Sila would the break effect here alone does like half a million damage so i mean there's that by the way <laughs> like let me just start off the battle by taking a health bar down that seems totally fair am i right all right i'm gonna try to start building up some of the dragon's calling stacks as well dang that does a lot it does a lot to the toughness bar just in general and that follow-up attack that is nice and what's nice is unlike with Sila, where i have to prioritize the roots and then do damage to the deer here i can prioritize doing it both so ooh, that's gonna be really nice actually Oh, that follow-up attack just looks so good, man. So, like, even here, I can just prioritize this. Go ahead and get this one as well. And that actually works hand-in-hand -hand with getting the Dragon's Calling stacks because I can do a basic attack to break it and then just follow up with this, which is very nice. Oh, that, that's looking good. I'm liking this. Making sure that we're able to kill everything off here. And we're already on to the last stage. That honestly did not take that long whatsoever. All right, we're going to call in uh, Fushuan here for a little bit of backup. And I do also have the Hunt Path here. I can go ahead and use that. Very nice. I'm also going to just go ahead and try to break the toughness. I can't get over that follow-up attack. I just love the animation. I think it's actually really cool over even some of the five-star ones. So now we'll go ahead and break there. Oh, the break effect damage, though. Like, I'm just expecting it to be higher. And I might as well go ahead and pop my ult. Honestly, if I play this right, I should be able to kill him before he wakes up. Can apply all this damage as well. There we go. That's nice. Yeah, actually, Shui, you know, she did good. Obviously, it's not going to be the big damage numbers that you see with Sila. Like, like, I think I'm a little underestimating her, to be honest, because I'm so used to seeing like 300, 400,000 damage quantum numbers on this boss. But I got to remember that that's not what she's supposed to do, right? She's supposed to do lots of damage. And because she was so quick and with all of the buffs that she was getting, she honestly had better rotations here than Sila. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up. I actually really enjoyed this. If I'm being honest, I think that was a quicker run than I've done with Sila because I have to kill each individual flower. Whereas with Shui Yi, because she was so quick and I could just take them out all at once, it went by a lot quicker and it was honestly more enjoyable. Yeah, what can I say? I was quite happy with how this turned out. And even though my Shui Yi build isn't perfect or even necessarily what you should be using on her, I still think it was a pretty good option that I went with. But let me know what you guys think and how are you building your Shui Yi. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.